Good God of heaven, we come before you right now giving you thanks and praise. As we embark upon this second prayer line, we invite your presence right here, right now, dear Father. We are getting ready to open up your words to read, dear God, the Bible. So we invite you to give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, praise the Lord, we thank you. Father, you know us by name, you know us by nature, you know everything about us. So take full control, dear God, and just bless. Lord God, be with Sister Colleen in a special way. Dear Father, Lord, you know exactly how to work things out for her. Continue, dear God, to be with her husband, be with her boys, her boys, her boys. Be with her grandchildren, dear Father. Be with those who are taking care of of her in New York as you help her fight cancer, dear Father. Lord, you are a great God. Be with Sister Strong, dear Father, in a special way. Lord, as she remains strong for her family, continue to bless her and keep her. Be with her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren also, dear Father, and the great-great-grandchildren, Lord, just bless them and keep them be with Marcus, 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 Pop King, Felicia, continue to be with Carla, CJ, 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 be with Kiana and Mookie, dear Lord, just continue to bless them and keep them and cover them with your blood and just anoint them, dear Father, they are your children, Lord, just touch them, Lord, be with uh, Brother Hopkins in a special way, Dear Father, continue to be with his wife, be with his um, child, and all his family members, co-workers, friends, neighbors. Lord, touch them from the crown of their heads. Hallelujah to the sole of their feet. Be with Brother Peters in a special way. Dear Father, continue to bless him and keep him. Cover him with your blood. Dear Father, be with his mother. Can thank you, dear Father, for the continued healing that you have given his mother. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Continue to be with his son who is getting ready to go back to college. Dear Father, continue to be with his nieces, nephews, Lord, uh, co-workers, friends. Touch them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Be with Sister Davis's family. Dear Lord, Jack, 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 Lawan, Yolanda. Be with Latrice. And Reggie, dear Father, continue to bless them and keep them. Touch them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Continue, dear God, to be with Sister Evans. Dear Lord, be with her children. Alitia and uh, Al, 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 dear Father. Lord, just uh, be with them. Be with her grandchildren. Lord God, be with Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Be with Shakira. Be with uh, Leon, just touch them all from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, along with all the other names that she have mentioned. Be with Sister um, Watt, Sister Manning, be with Sister Glass, be with Brother White, be with the Dawkins family, be with Sister Massey, be with Sister Bernadette, and all the others and their families. Just touch them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet and just bless, bless, bless. Be with Carrie, dear father. She needs $25, dear God, to go and do her exams, to go back in college. Lord, you are a great God of heaven and you're a great provider. Continue to provide for her and her family. It's difficult, dear God, but you can work it out. Be with Victor, continue to provide him with the little food that he needs. Dear Father, just bless, bless, bless. Be with Frida, dear God, as she does what she can to take care of her siblings because the parents is not stepping up to do what they need to do, dear Father. Just continue to bless her and keep her. Be with Joshua in a special way. Be with him, be with his parents. Dear Father, be with his wife and his children. Just continue to bless them and keep them. Dear Father, you know what to do. Dear God, Lord, be with Kemunto. She's having problem with her phone. 
But Lord, I know that you are a great God and you know how to work it out. So work it out, dear Father, for her so that she could get a phone, dear God. Lord, just continue to be with Dismas also, dear God. He's the one who teaches others about me, about you. Wow, not about me, dear Father. I'm the one who recommend him to teach others, dear Father. So, Lord, continue to give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Just continue to bless uh, all the other, Sister Lynette, uh, Millicent, and all the others, Lord. Just bless them and keep them. Be with the Grant family, my beautiful, sweet wife. Hallelujah, she's eating more. Praise the Lord. Lord God, just continue to keep her. Dear Father, as she goes through her sickness, dear God, and give us the strength, my daughters and myself, to take care of her the best way we can. Father, be with the Bible that we are reading. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Be with Mikey. Be with Michelle, dear Father. Uh, she's doing good in this program. Dear Father, just continue to bless. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Glory, hallelujah. Just be with the Bible. In Jesus' name, amen. And whatever I fail to ask, fail not to grant. Amen. The Lord was not able to bring this people into the land which he swore unto them. Therefore, he has trained them in the wilderness. And now I beseech thee, let the power of my Lord be great. According to the, as thou hast spoken, saying, The Lord is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means came guilty, deleting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Pardon, I beseech thee, the iniquity of this people according unto the greatness of thy mercy. And as thou hast forgiven this people from Egypt even unto now. And the Lord said, I have pardoned according to thy word. Mm, mm, mm. But as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Because all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles, which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness, and have tempted me now these ten times, hearken to my voice. Surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers, neither shall any of them that provoke me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, and hath followed me fully, and will I bring into the land whereunto he went, and his seed shall possess it. Now the Amalekites and the Canaanites dwell in the valley, Tomorrow I'll turn you and get you into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. The Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation which murmured against me? And I heard the murmuring of the children of Israel, which they murmured against me, saying unto them, As children as I live, that the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so would I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in, the, in this wilderness, and all that were numbered of you according to your whole number, from twenty years old and upward, which have murmured against me. Now it shall not come unto, unto the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein. Then Caleb the son of Jezebel and, this jo and Joshua the son of Nun. But, uh, verse 31, but your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know the land which ye have despised. But as for you, your carcasses, they shall fall in this wilderness. And <coughs> Sorry. And bear your whoredoms until your carcasses be washed, wasted in the wilderness. 
after the number of the days in which ye searched the land, even forty days, each day for a year, shall ye bear your iniquities, even forty years, and ye shall know my breach of promise. I, the Lord, have said, I will surely do it unto all this evil congregation that are gathered together against me. In this wilderness they shall be consumed, and there they shall die. We just uh, finished reading from Numbers uh, chapter 14, and we started at verse uh, 16, and uh, I will be picking up at verse uh, 36, and I will take it all the way to verse uh, 40, and it says thus, and the men which Moses sent to search the land, who returned and made all the congregation to murmur against him by bringing up a slander up on the land. Even those men that did bring up the evil report upon the land, died by the plague before the Lord. But Joshua the son of Nun, and Caleb the son of Jephani, which were of the men that went to search the land, lived still. And Moses told these sayings unto all the children of Israel, and the people mourned greatly. And they rose up early in the morning and get them up into the top of the mountain, saying, Lo, we be here and will go up unto the place which the Lord had promised, for we have sinned. Have a mercy. I tell you, Every time I read this section of the Bible, it brings me back to myself and say, Lord, help me not to be stiff-necked, if that's the word. Because I don't, if you have been following the life of the Israelites, if you have been following their lives, and if you have seen or heard or read all the things that Jesus, that Christ did for them, I don't know. Did you do y'all remember the Red Sea? Christ brought them through the Red Sea and killed their pursuers. It caused the water to join back and kill their pursuers. They were complaining before the Red Sea because they heard the chariots and the horses behind them. They got across the Red Sea. Earlier we read they wanted meat. And all they do, all they did was to complain. I said to myself, Moses, when you step up, because we just read that, where, who, a matter of fact, who begged for them when Christ was going to destroy them in, in the, between last week's reading and, and, and the reading now? Who begged for these people? All right, no one talking to me. But Moses is the one who they were complaining about. And he is the one who turned around and begged for them not to be killed. But out of the 12 spies that went to spy out the land, how many of them remained alive? Just two. The rest of them were burnt up. So I'm saying to drive it home to 2,000 
and 24, quit complaining. When we go and ask God for something, it's not complaining. But if we whine and dine and whine, 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 God don't like complainers. And because of their complaining, from what age, from what age and upward, he said would not enter the promised land. All right, from 20, 20 from 20 years old and upward, Brother Hopkins read that, okay? From 20 years old and upward would not enter because of all their, and they were so, I don't even know what to say, but they, they, they were not satisfied with anything. God gave them a lot. But they complained, I want this. They even complained that they wanted to go back where? To Egypt. And, and what were they in Egypt? They were slaves. So they would rather go back to Egypt than go to the promised land. And I'm going to just say it like this. God has a promised land for all of us. What are we doing? Are we complaining? Because life is difficult now. And I'm telling you, there are sicknesses. We have people fighting cancer, dementia, all kinds of stuff. But this world is not our final home the way how it is. So all I can say to you and say to myself is that hold on to Jesus. Sister Colleen, hold on to Jesus. Okay? Yeah. This is not going to be forever. It may be rough now, but sure enough, God will see us through. Just like how he said that Joshua and Caleb will enter the promised land because they came back with a good report. It was difficult over there. Because there were giants in the land. But Joshua said. With God's grace. Caleb said. With God's grace. We can take the land. We realize that with God's grace. We can go to where God gone to prepare for us. We will see Jesus one day. I don't know about you. But I'm not going to hell. I'm going to heaven. Whatever it takes. I already told God if he has to pinch my ears or pull my nose or give me a little whipping, do it. But make sure that when he said, when he comes back, he said, well done, good and faithful servant. Let him say it for you also. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Hallelujah! With beauty and with youthfulness showing us Clearly, his goodness and mercy. The psalmist recognized this, just as anyone who looks at nature in search of the expression of God's love in it will have to recognize it. There are so many life lessons that we can learn if we accept that God speaks to us through his creation. Mercy. Undoubtedly, we would feel closer to God if we perceive his voice in each thing created by him. When Jesus was on this earth, he devoted time and energy to teaching people about the kingdom of heaven. He used elements in nature that illustrated spiritual truth. This is proof that as the psalmist says, the earth is full of goodness of God. We can use this to be evidence we find in God's creation to understand reality about him that are fundamental, such as his mercy, love, forgiveness, and salvation. Jesus took us the lily of the field, saying that its incomparable beauty should remind us that if God took the trouble to create such a beautiful flower with such a fleeting lifespan, how will he not care for us who are worth more than a flower? The Lord mm. spoke of the seed that was 
sour salt went out of the stone of wheat, of thistle, of a fig tree, and of the cloud. He spoke of the sea and the sky, of storms, of rocks, and of sand, of grapevines and branches, of fish and bread, and of many other created works that illustrate spiritual truth and help us recognize God's love and the nature of his kingdom. Jesus did not live disconnected from his family <clears throat> and social surroundings. He was up to date on the news and dealt with people on their everyday lives. He spent time in prayer and listening and listening to the Father through his word. All of this was seasoned by what he found in nature so that his teachings would be understand understandable and relevant for all of his listeners, among which are you and I. If only we decide today to open our spiritual eyes and ears and be receptive to the signs and messages that God has put everywhere, we will live in greater calm. We will trust in God much more and we will believe that he is capable of directing our life, which is merely an an insignificant dot compared to the whole of his creation. Are you ready to make such a decision? I pray that we each and every, each and every one of us are, because as Brother Michael said earlier, he was, as he was speaking, that this world is not our final home. Mercy, mercy. Let us live this life to remind us that we have we know where and who is going to bring oh, yes. us our final home. Amen. 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 Mother's world and to my listening ear all nature sings and round me ring the music of the this is my father's world. I should know a heart be said of rocks and trees of sky. 
satisfied and mm -hmm. earth and mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Um. Okay, I'll find out. I'll find out. We invite our friends. We thank you for the blessing of forgiveness. You know, every single one of us, individual and collective. We ask you that your present God before us today. You hear the request. You hear the petition. Now give us a token and help us to see your glory. Yes. Remember the situation around the world, especially the storm that is going through right now. Mercy. Give peace to that people. Remember the political situation in this country. Have mercy. Remember the war and rumors of war and the situation in Venezuela. Lord, we thank you for being in control. We thank you that you care. We thank you for working things out. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Joshua? Yes. Let us, let us believe and pray. Father, we come unto you. We thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you for all that you have done through this teaching. Lord. We cannot be with us, our Lord. We pray that you invite us through this week until we finish. I pray and trust the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and believe. Amen. Hey, man. Frida? Frida? All right. Go ahead, Keith. Let us pray. Our dear Lord, Lord in heaven, we come on to you at this particular time. We thank you for the gift of life being with us up to this time, Father. Be with us always as we need to finish the meeting, protect us always. My friend, Kate, who is admitted in hospital for a week, oh God, I dedicate him into your help and heal him with your own spirit. I pray and believe in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Victor. Let's give him a great dear Lord. We thank you because of this day. We thank you because you've given us a gift of life so that you can share your word. We thank you for whatever we learned. We ask the Lord to help us so that we can get to use for whatever that we have learned in the course of this day. We ask that the Lord will continue guiding us till we meet tomorrow for this man for praying Jesus. Hey. Amen. Amen. Carrie? Carrie? Let's pray. Our kind and everlasting master, God, we never may come on to this time giving you thanks for the great care which have given us this morning up to this day, Father. Father, cover us with the blood, with your blood of Father. Father, I pray, as I'm struggling, looking for my school fees, so Father, may you protect me and guide me as your Father. Father, I pray for this group, may you help each and everyone. I pray for the for everybody in this group, may you protect us and guide us. I pray this prayer. Believe in sin, I do believe. Amen. Hey, man. Jacob? Jacob? All right. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Psalms 1914. Praise ye the Lord.